This is Season 2, Episode 11 of my modular journey, and today I'm going to be talking about the ALM Busy Circuits Dual Channel Attenuverter, also known as the OA times 2 or the 010 by ALM. Oh, before I begin, before I begin this, let me tell you something. This little simple module is probably the hardest one I've ever had to talk about here because it is literally so simple. I struggled trying to come up with how to present this and I've kind of decided that I'm just going to point you over to Sonic Voltage's wonderful video on this exact module as far as a technical in-depth walkthrough because I mean, I know why I got it and I know how I plan to use it, but trying to come up with a demo like this, like I do with most of the other modules, I've recorded this video five times. So I'm pretty exhausted. And so this is what you're going to get. You're going to get me showing this off <laughs> in minimal detail. All right. So with that disclaimer out of the way, let's see what we got. Uh, we've got this dual channel attenuverter. Uh, it starts with an input signal up here, and then you can use this attenuation knob here to uh, to flip the polarity, either positive or negative polarity of whatever the signal is coming in. And then here you have an offset knob, so again, whatever's coming in can be offset by 0 to 8 volts. Now the manual says 0 to 8 volts, but when you plug it into data and actually flip it all the way down, it shows uh, negative 10 to positive 10. So there's actually a 10 volt um, peak to peak there, or a 20 volt peak to peak. Uh, anyway, and it's uh, and then it has this output down here that is a sum of the attenuation value at plus its offset or minus its offset, and then that's what comes out of this output here. And then nicely, ALM has put two LEDs here, one for the the red being the positive voltage and the green being the negative voltage, and it shows also the intensity. Like uh, it'll brighten uh, for however however intense the voltage is that's coming through. So all those things make it pretty neat. Uh, one more thing on the back side is this mix jumper here. If you put this jumper on, you can actually turn this into a little mini two to one or one to two mixer, meaning you could put an input signal in here here and it'll sum here. But as soon as you put something in here out, it breaks that loop. So. That is uh, probably, that's why I'm going to leave the jumper on because I can there, therefore use it as a two channel mixer or attenuverter. So uh, let me get this wired up in the rack and I'll, th I'll throw a few wires through it, but I promise this is not going to be very deep. So hold on. All right. The dual attenuator is in the rack. Let's get some power up. All right, so for, for the very first thing I want to show off uh, and completely ripping this off from Sonic Voltage because it was, it was kind of brilliant. Very simple way of showing some of what the voltage is doing uh, as far as what's coming out here. Uh, this thing here is what's supplying the voltage for the offset. So just wiring this with no input at all, you can see the offset changing if you look at the green trace up here. Now, if you also look down here at the LEDs, you can see down here, it's full green. As you near middle point, you can see the, the green light getting lighter. And then, of course, the voltage dropping or raising, I guess, in this case. And then, of course, we flip to the positive side and it turns red. So that's kind of neat. Kind of neat how that works. So uh, putting a signal in... I'm just going to take a, an LFO out of Modbox real quick and throw it in up here. Give it some speed. So now with something plugged into the input, now we can actually use the attenuator here. So keep an eye on this green box again as I raise the voltage, or, or I'm going to turn up the attenuation, which is going to allow more voltage to come in. So now you see it's sweeping between plus two, minus two, and you can see these the voltage, the meters changing here, oscillating across back and forth, back and forth. And now what the offset is going to do, I'm going to raise the offset because maybe I want it to be unipolar, so I don't want it to go into the negative. So I will raise the offset. 
until all I'm seeing is positive voltages. And so now you see down here, it's only flashing red for positive voltage. And likewise, we can also now lower it, uh, lower the offset down below the middle so it stays negative and never comes into the positive. So that's kind of what offset does. It takes whatever's coming in and, and literally moves it down. It's almost like transposes it down or up based on you know, positive or negative. And then the attenuator is how much of it is coming in and out, whether it's a little bit or a whole bunch. So that is kind of, in a nutshell, that is exactly what I plan to do with this thing. <laughs> Why I got it and how I plan to use it is all wrapped up right in that, uh, that statement right there. Uh, so that was that was kind of all there was to it uh, in this particular episode. Again, check out the Sonic Voltage video linked below. Um, real nice uh, demonstration of of all the different things you can do with this with this little tool. I guess in the final analysis, uh, I could actually see having a couple of these because they they were only ninety nine dollars a piece U.S. and it's only four HP. So, and these actually have, uh, as you'll see in the other, in the other demo videos that you have an attenuator and a DC offset. So, uh, that's kind of neat. So that's it for episode 11, uh, season two of my modular journey, the dual channel attenuator, attenuverter. Coming up next is the endorphins golden master. Stay tuned for that.